Eusebio Pedroza born March 2, 1953, is a retired boxer from Panama who held the WBA and Lineal Featherweight Championship from 1978 to 1985. His 19 successful defenses as World Featherweight Champion are a record for that division. His cousin, Rafael Pedroza, was a world champion also, in the junior bantamweight division, although Rafael's reign as world champion was short-lived. Biography <inaudible> 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 Pedroza started out as a professional boxer on December 1, 1973, with a four-round knockout win over Julio Garcia. His first 15 bouts were all in Panama. He went 14-1 over that span of fights, including a win over Jacinto Fuentes, a boxer who would later draw and lose to Wilfredo Gomez. His one defeat over that period of his career came to Alfonso Pérez by a knockout in three. For fight number 16, Pedroza traveled in the last week of March 1976, to Mexicali, Mexico, to challenge WBA world bantamweight champion Alfonso Zamora for the world title. In his first championship try, Pedroza suffered his second loss, being knocked out in two rounds. After returning to Panama, he beat Pablo Jimenez by a decision in 10, then lost to Oscar Arnold in Venezuela by a knockout in 6. He would not lose again for nine years. Pedroza won three fights in 1977, two by knockout, and then, in April 1978, the WBA featherweight champion, Cecilio Lastra of Spain, traveled to Panama to defend his title on April 18 against Pedroza, who knocked him out in round 13 to become the new WBA featherweight champion. Pedroza, during the next seven years, traveled the world to defend his title. Among his 19 successful defenses were one against Enrique Solis in Puerto Rico, a 15-round decision win, one in Japan against former world champion Royal Kobayashi, knocked out in 14, one in South Korea against Sa Wong Kim, knocked out in 8, one in Houston against the former three-time world champion and fellow Hall of Famer Ruben Olivares, who lasted 12, one in Port Moresby, Papua a New Guinea versus Johnny Abba, who lost in 11, 2 against future world junior lightweight champion Rocky Lockridge, who went the distance with Pedroza in New Jersey and in Italy but lost by decision both times, a return to Venezuela to knock Carlos Pinango out in 7, a return to New Jersey to defeat Juan Laporte by decision, a return to Italy to beat Jose Caba, also by decision, and a fight in North Carolina. Carolina in which he retained the title with a draw against Bernard Taylor. He also defended in his home country many times during that span, and became a household name in Latin America, his face appearing on the cover and posters of Ring en Español and Gantas magazines multiple times. Pedroza rose off the canvas in 1984 to knock out Gerald Hayes in 10, and he tied the record for division defenses with a win over Angel Levi Mayer, once again in Venezuela. In February 1985, he made history by beating the former world bantamweight champion Jorge Lujan to defend his title for the 19th time. Pedroza finally lost his title in England, being defeated by Ireland's Barry McGuigan in London by a 15-round decision on his 20th defence. During Pedroza's reign, talks surfaced of a unification bout against World Boxing Council and lineal featherweight champion Salvador Sanchez. These hopes were dashed when Sanchez died in an automobile accident in 1982. By virtue of his win over Laporte, who succeeded Sanchez as WBC champion, Pedroza was recognized as the new lineal featherweight champion. 
Between 1986 and 1992, Pedroza tried various comebacks, going 3–2 in total on those comeback attempts. He retired with a record of 42 wins, 6 losses and 1 draw, with 1 no contest, and 25 wins by knockout. He is a member of the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Topic. See also List of featherweight boxing champions Topic. External links Professional boxing record for Eusebio Pedroza from BoxRec Eusebio Pedroza, International Boxing Hall of Fame Latino sports legends Eusebio Pedroza's boxing stats <laughs>